I'm commonly asked the following questions in clinical practice. How does PET-CT help in selecting therapy uh, for patients with Hodgkin lymphoma? Well, in both early and advanced stage disease of Hodgkin lymphoma, PET-CT has important prognostic abilities. So an early interim PET which is negative after one or two cycles of chemotherapy is a very good prognostic sign which means it is a good idea to continue the therapy that you're giving or even in low risk patients perhaps to reduce the burden of therapy that you plan to give. Whereas a PET scan early during therapy which is positive may show you or indicate that the treatment you're giving is not sufficiently e efficient and that you may in selected patients want to, to escalate that therapy to a more intensive chemotherapy or perhaps combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Now, whereas the prognostic properties of PET are well demonstrated in several trials, the value of groups, for, for groups of patients or for individual patients um, of changing therapy on the basis of early interim PET is still to be demonstrated. There are trials published in early stage Hodgkin lymphoma uh, showing what happens if you use an early interim PET um, which is negative to omit uh, radiotherapy in selected patients. Two trials have been published, randomized trials, um, uh, investigating uh, whether you can use an early a negative PET to select patients who do not need radiotherapy after the completion of radiotherapy. But follow-up is quite short and we can't make any definite con conclusions as yet. In advanced stage disease there are several trials ongoing. Most of these trials use early PET to either continue therapy, which is uh, typically the combination of chemotherapy called ABVD, or in cases of a positive early PET to escalate to more intensive regimens. Mm -hmm.